Hi everyone, today's video is sponsored by Barb, so thank you so much. She has actually asked me to do this page from Walk in the Woods by Layla Dooley. And um, what I am going to do is do six separate videos for the series, so it's the whole series that she's sponsored. And each one of these I'm doing in a different pencil type. Barb has let me know what pencil she's got, so I've picked a set for each picture that she has so she can colour along. Um, so the first one if we're doing is this one. I have looked it up because in the back of the book, Layla tells us what flower types these are. So this is a snake's head fritillary. I think that's how you say it. If you come in closer, you'll be able to have a look and see. There we go. And so I found, looked one up and looked at the colours. Now I'm going to be doing this in polychromos pencils. Um, I'm trying to open my tin. This is one of the sets that Barb has got. Um, she has got plenty, which is nice. We can do a big variety. Um, I did the opposite page to this in different pencils as well. I did it when I did the book flip through. I coloured one of them on camera and did the others off camera, but shared pictures. I'll put a link to that in the description. But this one we're doing in polychromas, as I say. Um, I've got a photo of Snake's Head Fertility, and basically, I'll show it to you. It looks like this. So, what I'm going to do is do a very light pink coating um, base base colour on the flowers and then take a much darker colour and do some of the details so it it looks and sounds maybe more complicated than it will be. I'm going to start with the light magenta. I don't want this to be very dark um, but just with just doing the flowers at the moment I need to sharpen this it's very blunt. So if you want to do this, you absolutely can with regards to sponsoring a video. Um, there are different um, things. What you do is you go to my Ko-fi and the, in the commission section it has all the information. So you can have a shout out on any video of my choice. Or you can pick a page that you'd like me to colour and have a shout out on there. Or you can pick a page that you'd like me to colour and the pencils and have a shout out. So there are different levels of membership. It's just a different way that I can do things that you wish and you can support me at the same time. And uh, Barb's got very much behind this idea and uh, it's been very generous in not only um, sponsoring this page um, but also um, in um, in donating towards a pencil case well, actually, all the paying for a pencil case for my um, Black Widows. So very, very kind, Rob. And I think she gave me a super thanks on on YouTube. So I'm very, very grateful to her. She's been very, very supportive and uh, very much appreciate it. Now, there are lots of different ways to support the channel. And I know not everybody can support financially. I mean, financial support is important and very much appreciated. But um, just by liking and subscribing, commenting, that really, really helps. And going onto my other social media sites and doing the same thing. Um, but also um, making sure that you like my um, Instagram and Facebook and or whether you're a member of one or both um, because I'm going to use the magenta for the other colour um, in this. Now if you see how it's got these little um, sort of lines on them I'm going to try and colour over those with the magenta to give that sort of patchwork look to the plant, to the flower so we'll see how it works out. Um, Yes, because um, with the social media channels, particularly Instagram, it's now set up so that only really popular posts get shown to people. So you may find, for example, if you go to my um, Instagram page and have a look, you might find there's loads of posts there that you haven't seen because 
Instagram just hasn't shown them to you. They keep messing around with the algorithm. Even really big channels are struggling to get their posts seen by people. So uh, um, now what I put on Instagram, I do put a little reminder of all my videos. If you subscribe to me and have the notifications, you will get that anyway. But um, I also put completed pages up there. So when I finished a page, I will, um, not for every page, but um, I will take a photo and uh, pop it up. It's quite effective this, isn't it? The way Layla's drawn it. Uh, and pop it up on my socials. And it means you get a little sneaky peek often of, of my completed pages before my completed pages video comes out or just have a little look at things I've been doing. So uh, it gives you a little extra thing on there than you get just from subscribing on YouTube if you want to, you know. So uh, that's another little thing that is very helpful. And also sharing. So, you know, if you really like um, a video, um, share it on your Facebook, on your Instagram, that sort of thing. That makes a huge difference. So, uh, and a few people started doing that and I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's... Uh, social media is a tricky one to get your head around with regards to marketing. The bigger channels just pay for uh posts to be shown to people you know sponsored posts um it's something i have thought about but obviously it's really hard to know whether it's worth the investment or not um so i haven't um done it and uh at the moment with the uk elections on all my sponsored posts that i'm getting seeing on facebook are all election campaign posts from various parties don't and so I suspect that advertising is quite expensive at the moment because I know on YouTube for example I don't know if it's the same on the, the others um, the advertising space is auctioned off so the more you're prepared to pay the more likely you are to get the advert on and um, so in November for example um, I get loads more advertising revenue, which is a great time of year to earn a bit more money, obviously. Um, I think I got like a quarter more than in October, something like that. Um, because people are vying for that Christmas, Thanksgiving um, purchase time of year, you know, and Halloween. It gets, it sort of builds to, you know, in the sort of... Um, what do you call it in America? Um, holiday season, that's what you call it. We don't call it that here. But anyway, it sort of builds then. And in the summer, it well, actually Jan, January, February are pretty quiet, which isn't surprising. I think all retail is quiet at that time of year, so retailers don't want to advertise because it's not necessarily worth it. And uh, then the summer's usually quite quiet too because people are on holiday. They're not looking at their phone so much, which um, is probably good. Having a nice little break somewhere. We're not having a holiday this year. We had one last year. We don't holiday every year. Right, now I've done the sort of pattern. It's not quite as distinct as on the um, picture, but I'm okay with it. I'm looking, the stems are quite dark. So I'm going to do a light layer of this magenta it's quite hard to keep it light um, on the stem and just sort of fade it down like that. Yeah, it's quite hard to keep it light because it's uh, quite a dark pencil. There we go. On this one. Now, the thing I find trickiest about Layla's um, pictures are there's all such a tangle of um, leaves and things. It's not always easy to see where one starts and other ends. We're going to gently unpick this page in a minute and work it all out. But before I do that, I want to do a little bit of shadowing and um, around um, in between the leaves. I think I'm just going to use the light magenta and see if it works. Um, if I can just get a sort of darker bit where the leaves sort of overlap. They have a really loud sort of radio or something. My window isn't open in here. 
It's quite cool today. It's lovely, really nice. It's already rained. It's the temperatures come down by about um, eight degrees in a day. Oh, it's lovely. I'm so happy. Um, and my son isn't so poorly either, which is great. Of course, I've got a sore throat, but we'll pretend that's not happening. I'm just going to blow my nose and then do the green. Sorry. Right. Now, it's quite a dark green, the foliage. Um, and I think almost a slightly bluey green. I think I'm going to use the pine. Um, I might not use pine all the time, but that's why I'm going to start with our pine green. Um, I think I'm just going to start here. I'm gently going to go over this stem. I want to make sure that you can see that there's some red in there. But also, it's going to sort of blend into being green. Like that. Now we've got a leaf here. I just fade it down like that. And then we've got my sons up. I can hear the water, it's brushing his teeth. And then this one here looks more like a stem, doesn't it? And then there's a leaf coming off it here. I hope you're following okay. I think it's not too small, should be okay. So yeah, my one son was quite poorly and nasty. Now I think this might be a continuation of this stem there. And then uh, this is obviously a leaf, but where does it start and end? What are all these lines? Um, and I think I'm going to assume all of these lines are the leaf. Like that. Yeah, he was uh, in bed for a whole day with a nasty coldy temperature thing. And, uh, but uh, he's back to his very cheeky self today, which is lovely. It was very rude to me this morning, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a fun way, and it's just nice. He was talking, we were chatting politics actually this morning, elections coming up, etc. He, uh, yeah, he actually, he didn't exactly tell me how he'd voted, we don't do that, but he was telling me his reasonings for the way he voted and it was good. Um, he has very different reasons for me, but completely, um, completely understandable reasons, and um, he sought it through. Now here we've got a line here and here. I think this bit in here is is a leaf there. Now because it's a little bit further back, I'm going to put an extra layer. A pencil on it and then it'll just sit back a little bit and you'll be able to see it's in the background. I'm just going to sharpen my pencil. Yes, yeah, so that was quite interesting. I know how my husband voted, he told me, but uh, I think he guessed how I voted. I didn't tell him, I haven't told anyone. I don't believe in that. I think it's between you and the ballot box, except we voted by post, so we voted a bit early. Um, now, we've got a line here. I'm going to sort of think that's the darker bit as well. So, again, just layering up this green a little bit more. But it will be interesting. Um, just thinking it will be very close to folding day when this video goes out. Um, and think this is a background one here. Um, it's um, certainly not for me to talk about any <laughs> polling issues, political issues. I don't get political on this video at all. All I feel is that it's worth making sure that you give it some proper thought. I think most people do, to be fair. You know, think about what's important to you, 
whether you want to vote for your locally with regards to who you think might be best for your local area or who you think might be best you know which party might be best that sort of thing i tend to vote locally but um not everybody does it's a bit it's tricky isn't it that we have to make that separation because some of our local people that are standing might um, not be particularly good but you might like the party they represent or vice versa they might be really good but you might not like the party it's a little bit tricky of course my sons keep saying we should have proportional representation um, young people seem to be much more in favour of it I think it's because they're more open-minded um, I, they understand the idea, they know how it works, whereas I think because us older people have always um, had the first past the post system, it's what we know, so we understand it and how it works, so uh, I, th I think, but um, you know, it's uh, if it changes, it changes, uh, we'll just have to... Um, make make ourselves understand it and change is sometimes very good you know I'm just looking up this, that bit's a bit faint hmm I'm quite pleased with how this one is coming along I'm not doing anything too tricky just enjoying myself and I hope that it's uh, easy for you to colour along making that bit a little bit layering up there because this leaf is almost tucked behind this other one there just going over it a little bit there we go and this one now tomorrow's picture is um, interesting because it is common daisy. What colour are common daisies? White. <laughs> but um, some of them are pale pink. So um, I'm going to do them slightly pinkish make it a little bit easier on myself because I haven't learned how to do white flowers yet. I was really hoping someone said to me, ask ask Helen Elliston when she brings out her next book how to do white flowers. And uh and you know I did, but she didn't put it in. I mean it's fair enough. But um so uh, I uh, I'm going to have to find a way to learn. I'm sure Chris Cheng must have done. Oh, of course. Just saying, Chris Cheng does her, her um, colouring on toned paper. So then you can use a white pencil and it works. Mm. She does these days. Her, some of her older stuff isn't. Mm. I should just have to learn. Find a way. Experiment a bit more. I'll layer that one up a bit more because it's underneath. Now the backgrounds I'm not going to do. I didn't do them on the other page either. Um, so I'm not I'm not going to do um include them. But um if I was gonna do one for this I would probably do it in green, but I think it will I think it look it'd look better without one, to be honest. With such a tangle of uh, petals and things. I think it's easier to just keep it quite simple. And just to not worry too much about that. Now, I'm trying to work out what's going on here. That seems to relate to that. There. I don't know if I should have filled that in or left it blank actually, but never mind. There's a stem there, but what is this line here? It indicates there's a stem here, doesn't it? So let's do 
see that one a little bit darker. Looks like the sun's coming out now. It's rained a bit. It's nice and fresh. Oh, my son was so funny. Got up this morning. He was up a bit later than me. I opened up all the... We have French doors either side of our sitting room. Well, it's a lounge diner, but we use it just as a sitting room. Anyway, um, I opened up the French doors at both ends and he came down and he went... Um, what did he say? Um, I've turned into a cartoonish ice block. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. Right, there we are. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm going to finish that one there. Um, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, we only used three pencils, but um, yeah, I'm happy with how it looks. I hope that's uh, that's okay for you as well. And uh, yes, please pop back tomorrow for the next one while we'll be doing the daisies. Ah, but <laughs> uh, I think I can manage. We'll see. Anyway, have a super day. Thank you for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>